Hot Rodders tomorrow started out. Uh, we just finished the Skills USA competition, and I feel like I wanted to do more competitions with my students. And literally that next day, we got the shipment of tomorrow's technician that had an article about Hot Rodders of Tomorrow. I started doing research, uh, showed it to my students, and I actually had one student uh, who showed up with the engine. The next day, we started piecing it together, and within two months, we had a team that we took to uh, Sacramento for a qualifying event. I was on Perkins' first year team for Hot Rodders of Tomorrow, and we really tried and did a whole bunch of work and like stayed after school and tried to get to the point where we could go to SEMA, and we didn't. But to come here this year and find out that we're actually going to be able to go to SEMA and do all that stuff in qualifying is the best feeling ever. We took some money and some donations, some engine parts from the students, and we scrapped up an engine, and the whole last school year we practiced. I was able to talk to a lot of auto shop teachers, work with Rodney Bingham at Hot Rodders of Tomorrow and uh, the Davis Applied Technical Center, and we were able to get an event here in May and do the qualifying event. They took two teams, and my first team, they took first place, and they ended up qualifying for Vegas. My second team, they took third place. We are the first Utah team to qualify for Hot Rodders, and uh, that feels pretty good, too. But the great part is, is the one team, because they learn to work as a team. I'm in charge of bench which I organize and lube all the tools, make sure they have the right parts and tools for the run. I started off knowing nothing about an engine and now I'm going to SEMA, so it's a really huge deal for me. I am the left head. I pull headers, spark plugs, and then come around and do both sides of that and then pull off the head, catch pistons, and then everything in reverse. I put pistons in and head on, rockers adjust lifters and everything, and then I put help with the intake on it and then headers and spark plugs and wires. It feels like you're on a race team where you're rebuilding stuff for race cars. So it's, it's a lot of fun and you get to say you build motors. I mean, there's nothing cooler than building motors. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe for more and check out the latest from Tomorrow's Tech at tomorrowstechnician.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.